Good morning, peeps. How you doing today? Welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be doing a thing with the TBS Unify Pro High Voltage VTX. I'm going to show you guys how to take the pigtail and make sure the pigtail will never fall off. I know a lot of people probably have that problem. I used to have that problem until Trappy told me about this and I figured this out and now I'm doing this and I want to share with what I've learned coming along in this hobby. This was one of the things you seen come out of the box the other day. It is a TVS Unify Pro High Voltage. I do fly these. I really like them a lot. The only problem that I do have is the VTXs. Um, the pigtails come off for them. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to um, solder. I've got one opened up already here. So we're going to learn how to fix the damn VTX. As you can see, this thing freaking moves. It's annoying. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this away for you real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I had go, went ahead, trimmed this away for you. Didn't have an exacto knife, but you can see this thing's like pretty loose. It's like held on by a little piece of, uh, looks like a liquid electrical tape. Which is, uh, ain't doing shit for it really. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and kind of peel this back here and off. Take it off. And what we're going to do is we're going to try, I got this little needle here, I ain't really got a razor knife. And clear this uh, black little liquid electrical tape away if we can. We're going to go ahead now, we're going to turn it around like this, like I was telling you guys. Now I do fly the Alien 5 inch, and I do have a 3D printed mount. Now like I was saying, I do fly the Alien 5 inch frame, here it is. And I have this 3D printed mount that I printed up. My VTX is in there, the Unify Pro High Voltage, and actually has a little section now because I did break my pigtail and I've gone to I don't know if you can see the little dipole antenna up in there I'm trying out the TVS dipole antenna right here I don't know if you can see that there so I'm giving that a try it is actually pretty good you know it's not too bad but I do like my um, Triumph antenna the TVS ones you know I've, I've busted these things all to hell and I'm sure you guys know what this is you know, I've tried repairing them and I just I don't get much luck with it. It's just kind of throw it away buy a new one Bulletproof it while you can when you get it brand new, but it's actually um This little mount that I've printed up for the alien frame has a little section for this to hold Right down in here. I don't know if you guys can see in here But two little screw holes this little part right here sits in there beautifully and That's where we're at So what I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna show you is what I do to keep this thing from coming off like so. We got our soldering iron on. Should be hot. And it is. Now I'm just going to go ahead and splack some solder onto the top. I'm going to kind of start building it up. And we're going to go ahead. And we're going to try to go ahead and put some solder onto the metal side here and the metal side here. And that will secure it really good. Let's see if I can do that for you guys. And 
now basically that that's tinned up we're gonna basically take a shitload of solder and jump from here the top to the sides and just build a nice little layer around it see building it up now we're just gonna go ahead and And let it cool real quick. That should be good. It doesn't have to be beautiful. The purpose is I'm pulling on this pretty good, and this thing is not coming off no more. I don't know, you know. If that glob of solder was not there, that chip or VTX would have flew off. Now you're solid, good to go. And what you can do is take another piece of heat shrink go ahead and go around that let's go ahead and see if this will fit and it does I'm gonna go ahead take a little heat shrink put it over like that and I did get this heat shrink from the KISS ESE set which is really like a nice uh, good durable uh, rubber it's not like a plastic that comes on the uh, Unify Pro which I kinda hate I don't know why TBS is like using that cheap plastic shrink wrap. It's really not that. It is. It works. It does the job. It's cheap cost. I understand. But if they just spent a little extra penny, and got a nice silicone one, and did it up, oh, I think it would be a lot better. I'm just gonna go ahead, and I don't really have a heat gun, so this is how I do this. Line it up. Make sure your button, your button's still exposed. Your LEDs are right here next to it. Go ahead and shrink her down. There you have it guys. Unify Pro modified pigtail thing will never fall off on you. Now all you gotta worry about, I don't know what kind of drones or quads you're flying if you do this or not, but if you are flying an alien you might want to look into trying to get this antenna mount printed up for the TBS. I really do recommend it when you do have the Triumph uh, antenna on it the problem is and now I'm not really breaking them so much anymore it's I'm smacking the tops off and whatnot instead of I used to break them here or I would break them here at the VTX on my old frame on the night Nighthawk 200 Emacs frame but I'm really really impressed with the way the alien flies Unify Pro on 800 milliwatts gives you very very good video signal but, you know, everybody's flying 200 when we're out at the races, so it's fair. We're not jumping on each other and knocking each other out. So, if you like today's vlog, like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Watch the old video and fly with love. Have a good one.